Hi there, KS. This is Michael from OTCOnlineTOEFLCourse.com, and you're one of my 30-day TOEFL Writing Boot Camp Course students. And I just read and corrected one of your essays that you submitted. Now, this is not the one where I'm doing the video corrections. However, I'm going to give you a little bit more feedback than I normally would give on this kind of practice test because I think there's important things I want you to learn about sentence structure here. Okay, so based on the, this is actually what you wrote here. So it, you, I, I think that you're between 3.5 and 3.7. You're between 22 and 24 points. Uh, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to put you at 24 points. So you definitely have a very nicely focused thesis. And the topic sentences in each of your body paragraphs, they illustrate that. You took time to develop your topic. So I think overall, if you look at how many words you wrote, we got about 453. So it's pretty developed. You have a developed essay with a pretty clear organization, right? Now here's the problem. Let me go back to the rubrics here. I think here in the three range you have some inconsistent facility in sentence formation, limited range of syntactic structures and vocabulary. So I think probably these two areas may cause some IBT human raters to score you in the three range. But maybe other IBT human raters, maybe they like how you developed and organized your essay and they might give you a four. So there could be a disagreement, a discrepancy in that s someone may score you a four and, and someone else may score you in the three range here. Uh, okay, so let's do this. Okay, so let's just look at one particular paragraph here. I'm going to make some corrections. So educational institutions always try to create new teaching methods in order to help students attain their ultimate potentials. Good. Those methods are such as giving good teachers awards and giving students scholarships to encourage them. I think you want to put here infinitive to study hard. But these are some ways, but there are some ways, this is your first big problem, that. So you need an adjective clause connector in there. But there are some ways that have not been applied yet because they're still controversial. One of these debatable methods, see, you're going always for the simple structure, right? So if you do this, Yeah, there are some ways that not yet been applied yet because they are still controversial, one of which is paying teachers based on how much your students learn. So by combining those two sentences and turning this into what's called an adjective clause expressing quantity, right, you're showing more advanced grammar. While there are some, well, while there are some people who might support this, exactly the same problem up here adjective clauses, right? While there are some people, you don't even need that. Why Why even say that? Why, why not just say here? While some people might support this, I do not believe that teachers uh, should be evaluated based on how much their students get educated. And then you can just say this, combine these two. Because teachers cannot completely have control over how much your students learn. And this is a comma splice right here. So, you can put a semicolon or a period. In addition, it would have a negative impact on the students as well. So, if I go through every single paragraph, I have to make a lot of corrections. So, one thing I want you to look at here is creating adjective clauses. Go to the grammar part of my online TOEFL course, uh, SK, and I want you to focus on the lesson is called adjective clauses. And then make sure you're comfortable forming them and understand how to use them. Adjective clauses are part of what we call complex sentences. So you want to make sure you understand how to do that. 
So I think if you improve your language use a little bit more, I think that you can have a much, much higher score because you really develop and organize your ideas very well. You just need to get more control over your sentence structure. All right.